Tano. It's a season of back and forth legal battle in Kano State. To help us, you know, give us the mood in the state ahead of the local government election, our senior reporter Ibrahim Isa joins me now via Zoom. Ibrahim, how are party stakeholders reacting to this court order for Kansik to go ahead with the election? Well, the party, especially uh, the ruling party, is gearing up for the election um, scheduled to host tomorrow, Saturday. And uh, there had been uh, a press statement a few moments ago that the final state independent electoral commission also say that it is ready to conduct the election. And we know that earlier there had been a post order by the federal high court uh, providing restrictions, asking the parties to uh, be really appointed by the government for them to be credible as the courts found them to be members of the political party. But today, another court ruling was issued by the Kano State High Court, where by the Kano Independent Electoral Commission is directed to go ahead with the election. So it's a few hours to the election day, and as we speak, normal postal and bus is currently ongoing in the city. Uh, restrictions of movement are expected to begin at 12, and it will be relaxed at 6 p.m. tomorrow, Saturday. That's was issued in a statement by the Commissioner for Information, uh, Baba Ali NC. So, as we speak now, it's going to be the peaceful as the uh, party's uh, plan for the election tomorrow. Brahim is a senior reporter for us there in Kano City. Thank you, Brahim, for that update. But well, let's get more reaction to this. And joining us is Special Advisor to Governor of Kano State on National and International Public Relations, Muhammad Yusuf. Thank you for joining us today on the program. The Federal High Court in Kano had restrained Kansiek from conducting local government election in respect of the 44 local governments in the state until and unless qualified persons were duly and legally appointed as chairman and members. Has that been adhered to? Uh, thank you so much and uh, good evening viewers. Uh, one very interesting thing that I want to share with you is that on these issues and the back and forth happening concerning the local government elections scheduled to be held tomorrow, the CANSEC has already approached the court knowing there is a script that is being designed and played from somewhere, which we are all witnesses to what has transpired in River State. We all knew from what has transpired in River State, the same kind of script, or even in a more modified term, will be done in Kano State. So the Kano State Independent Electoral Body already approached the court and requested or appealed to the court to grant an intra-electory injection restraining all the political parties from doing anything that will affect, truncate the processes that will lead to the local government election. And the justice, in his own wisdom, granted that relief as sought by the CANSEC and that introductory injection was granted pending the determination of the suit. All right, let's uh, try So by that order party named a status quo ante by not doing anything as granted by that relief earlier sought from the court. But nonetheless, the vibe by the judge from the court, which is of competent jurisdiction, because a state high court is the court that has competent jurisdiction to decide on issues to affairs, not a federal affair. But instead, they went further and approached the federal high court, despite that order 
And at the end of the day, they got judgment from the federal by the CANSEC in Kano State. So today, the justice uh, in Kano State High Court delivered their own judgment, granting all the relief sought by CANSEC that CANSEC should be allowed as constituted to conduct that election without anybody interfering in the processes of the election and at the same time, consequent upon that, advise all security agencies to provide cover to the good people of Kano State and indeed the CANSEC official. All right then, Mr. Yusuf. We will take a quick break and then... So that Oh, yes, Mr. Yusuf. We'll take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll take it from there and get more perspective, even as the people of Kano State get ready for this election, which has now obviously been trailed by controversy. Please stay with us on the program. Thank you for staying with us on the program. We are looking at Kano State as a resident head to the polls for the local council election on Saturday, 26th of uh, October, and my guest is Special Advisor to the Governor of the State on National and International Public Relations, Muhammad Yusuf. Mr. Yusuf, before the break, you were you know, talking about the fact that CANSEC then approached the State High Court, which you mentioned to be a court of competent jurisdiction. Competent, but do you also consider that it is a court of coordinate jurisdiction, just like uh, you know, the Federal High Court, which had earlier ruled on restraining CANSEC from holding that election? And do you consider that this could amount to some form of abuse of court processes? Well, if uh, the court processes have been abused, of course, it is not by CANSEC, because CANSEC was the first party that went to court and got an injection restraining all members of other political parties from interfering or bringing about any issue that will bring uh, that will affect the conduct of that election. So, CANSEC in Kano State of the court, but despite the injection as granted by the court, the parties over there decided to still go ahead and approach another court, the Federal High Court, which is a federal court that is of limited jurisdiction. It is defined in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria what the Federal High Court has responsibility over, the issues of local government election and state independent electoral commissions does not fall within the purview of the Federal High Court. But despite that, judges in the modern Nigeria that we have today have a way of finding a way of uh, accepting jurisdiction of matters that are and do not even fall within the purview of jurisdiction that the courts of there are courts that we have strong respect and regard for. And I know whatever judicial uh, rascality or whatever you can call it that is being done at the lower level here, the appellate courts and the Supreme Courts, they always have a way of righting the wrongs that are being done by the lower courts. So right. no court processes has been abused by CANSEC or any official of the Kano state government. All right, Mr. Yusuf. And, uh, well, the network hasn't been excellently friendly, but, you know, it's been really great in hearing you. We hope that it remains clear to the end of the show. But talk to us about, you know, if you consider that the initial order, initial ruling by the federal high court, could it have had a significant setback on the conduct of this election? Well, 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 first instance, and uh, it is within the right of the CANSEC or any other official of the CANSEC to appeal any judgment that uh, you find uh, is not in your own best interest, which already I'm reporting to you that uh, the judgment as delivered by Justice Amobeda of the Federal High Court has already been appealed against, and uh, the court processes should continue, same as the election in Kano State will be conducted as planned by the CANSEC, as directed by the State High Court in Kano tomorrow. 
The election holds in less than 24 hours. And before now, you know, some residents were not even sure if the election would hold considering the court processes that have been on. Do you worry that there might be some level of voter apathy, that there might be reduction in the number of people who actually head to the polls on Saturday? Well, the whole essence of what has been happening is a game plan uh, to demoralize the people of Kano State. But what I can tell you, I've been moving around as these judgments were ongoing. The only feeler that I've been having within the state is that people of the state are even more eager and even more ready to troop out tomorrow in their numbers so they can be able to send a very strong and clear message to these people who have been window shopping in different courts in trying to truncate the efforts of democracy at the lower court. Don't forget, it is the Supreme Court that ruled that all states should go back to their states and conduct local government elections so that uh, we can have elected officials in most of the states. And 21 states, as at the time that Supreme Court gave their own ruling, were having caretaker committees. So we are just abiding by the order as directed by the Supreme Court and unfortunately, some, some unfortunate people are going to the lower courts to truncate the directive as issued by the Supreme Court. So I'm sure the judges at the Supreme Court are watching what is happening, and they will be in a better position to right whatever wrong has been done at the lower level when it goes up there. But I assure you that people will come out tomorrow in their numbers to vote for their choice. Now, would you say that there is actually a level playing field for all candidates and political parties participating in Saturday's election? Do you say what? Would you say that there is a level playing field, you know, for all participants in Saturday's poll? Yeah, I believe there is a level playing field because the CANSEC has been doing all they needed to do in the open. They have made announcement. They have given the guidelines on the processes that every political party needs to follow. And I'm sure any political party that has been an interested party that wants to field candidates for this election, if they have gone through the processes as laid down by CAMSEC, definitely I'm sure they would be in the best position, not even me to tell you that they have been faced by level playing ground. All right, and we know that the state government has announced restriction of... Uh movement. Uh, could that in any way hamper, you know, people's uh, ability to head to the polls and exercise their franchise on Saturday? Well, this has been the norm ever since. Either it is the CANSEC or the INEC. Uh, during the election processes, uh, restrictions of movement has always been placed so that people that are moving from one place to the other go about it. And this has always been the trend in Nigeria. So the state government directives that people should uh, not move from so, so time to the time that has been declared from 12 midnight to 4 p.m. tomorrow is just being done in the best interest of the people so they can rest and walk from their places to their polling units to go on and exercise their franchise, their constitutional right to vote and for those that are to be voted for. And as we count down to the election, what is your counsel to residents of Kano State? Well, the best thing that I can say is the residents of Kano should go out tomorrow in their numbers and they should walk out peacefully, peacefully, just go cast their vote and walk back home and enjoy watching TVC tomorrow because I'm sure TVC will be giving them update of what they need to know concerning how the election is going on. So this is my counsel to the people of Kano State. Well, definitely, TVC, you know, the TVC News Crew will be on ground, you know, monitoring the election and bringing updates uh, on the R, even as events unfold. But do you worry about the state of security for the election? Well, let me tell you one uh, very interesting thing that I know here in Kano State. The Kano police and other security agencies that we have, I think we have some of the most professional police officers here in Kano State. Especially I'm referring to the other ranks of the officers. 
They have been very, very amazing people who have been here in Kano. And you know, Kano is one city that uh, people have always have their right of way when it comes to voting who they want to vote. So it's very easy in Kano to vote the government that is in power, to vote them out of power very easily. Because the security that have been in Kano State, they have always allowed people to exercise their franchise without being molested. So I can assure you that I am very confident that the police will adhere and abide by the ju their judgment as displayed by the court of competent jurisdiction, that is the State High Court, to come out and give people cover so that they can peacefully vote and uh, return back to their businesses. All right, then. Special advisor to Governor Abba Yusuf of Kano State, a national and international public relations, Mohammed Yusuf. Thank you very much for your time on the program. Thank you so much for having me. It's been awesome talking with you. Thank you. Well, that our program today. We thank you very much for being a part of it. A repeat broadcast is available at midnight and at 6 a.m. I am Abbasadi Adeniron Adiremi. To have a very pleasant week.